Do we want to watch Jordan Peterson with his little... Jordan Peterson is back, by the way. JBP has returned. The infamous Jordan has come back to the internet. (laughs) With a new book. Beyond Order. Twelve More Rules. Beyond It. Imagine writing a book called Beyond Order. (laughs) The, The... The combating chaos was not enough for him. He has to go beyond order. He needs more. More order. Super order. The super straights are at it again. That's the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. The super straights. That's the most snowflake shit that I've heard in my life. Fucking super straights. Oh my god. But yeah, Jordan Peterson has a new book coming. Or is it out already? I have no clue. And there's a... <laughs> Hold on. Let me... I need to get my phone so I can show all of you this shit. Hold on a second. Oh my god. I tripped on the cord. But I didn't trip all the way. I didn't fall. <laughs> It's a miracle, all right. Let me let me show you all this. Scrolling, we're scrolling, we're scrolling. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna make it so you can see this and hear it. And now for something completely different. <laughs> Emmanuel Kant was a real piss and who was very rarely stable. Heidegger, Heidegger was a boozy beggar who could think you under the table. <laughs> David Hume could outconsume Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. And Wittgenstein was a beery swine who was just as schlossed as Schlegel. <laughs> there was nothing Nietzsche couldn't teach you about the raisin of the wrist. Socrates himself was permanently pissed. John Stuart Mill, of his own free will, on half a pint of shandy, was particularly ill. Plato, they say, could stick it away. Half a crate of whiskey every day. <laughs> Aristotle, Aristotle was a bugger for the bottle, and Hobbes was fond of his dram. <laughs> and Rene Descartes was a drunken fart. I drink, therefore I am. Yes. yes. Socrates himself is particularly missed. A lovely little thinker, but a bugger when he's pissed. That's it. Not again. And now. All right. Yeah. So there's that. Emmanuel Kant was a real piss ant. Oh my god. And that's like a video like that. Will it does make me laugh at how like dumb and like lame it is, but it also like it reminds me of when Joe Biden's eye vessel popped and everyone. You, like, <laughs> Like on live TV, on a debate, literally his eye pops and just starts bleeding, and everyone can... <laughs> like it's it's like that kind of a moment where it's like it's funny on the surface, but then like on a human level, it's like dark. It makes you feel bad because it's like, oh, this old geriatric fuck who literally can't can barely think anymore is like not that he had any useful thoughts to begin with is like literally his eye is bleeding on television and then you have like jordan peterson mr mr uh benzodiazepine who like has literally literally was in a coma because of his drug addiction which he decided for some reason to go to russia and quit cold turkey on uh and so it just makes you feel bad because it's like, you know what this person's been through. So it's kind of just like on a human level, it's just like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't incredibly hilarious when you look at it that way, you know, like I just have so much empathy like that. Like I just feel, I just feel bad. And I think that's like, that's like one core thing about like my moral beliefs even is the fact that like i feel it's like an empathy for the devil type thing 
Like, it doesn't matter what you did. It honestly doesn't matter to me what somebody does. Any kind of punishment by some moral directing body, like the state, for example, isn't justified by their action. Like, there's no actual inherent connection between them. That's just ideology. To justify the power imbalance. Like, that's... That itself, like, there's so many things, so many more useful concepts that flow in and help to, like, replace the, um, like, morality and, like, free will or determinism and, like, all this stuff. Like, pop philosophy. There's so much, so many more deep concepts that are more useful to think with. Like, power and, like, difference for example, and desire, like, these are more useful terms to think in than morals and free will, you know what I mean? At least for me. At least for me. But yeah, I don't... I was honestly thinking about, like, this is, like, channel spoilers. I was honestly thinking about, like, um, finally actually reading... 12 rules for life because back when i was like a jordan peterson fan girl i was like oh my god i have to buy this book because i saw it in a bookstore so i actually bought it but i never actually read it all so i was thinking about like what if i read put myself through the torture of reading this and then wrote a critique of it and then put myself through the torture of reading fucking beyond order and then writing a critique of that what if i did that i could do that i might do that is what i'm saying but i'm not gonna have like a i don't have like an intellectual critique of it that i can give you on this episode of the podcast simply because i haven't read it yet um And then I was also thinking about, like, doing a, uh, some kind of debate watch with some people from the Discord, I'm hoping, or, like, some people, like, I need more people, even around me on the internet, like, I just need more people like that, so, I, uh, can do things like that like i want to watch i've i want to do something with um even like the foucault versus chomsky debate like just get like four other people and watch it just like um i want to do with this what i'm talking about what i'm trying to mention right now is the zizek versus jordan peterson debate which i would love to watch on the channel with people but I'm recording this episode on my camera app itself on my old Windows laptop because Streamlabs didn't work today on there. So, yeah. I don't know why it just said, like, it's incompatible to compatible. So, uh, it might be my graphics card got too old and like the age of the the application itself sort of surpassed my graphics card it's possible but then i just need to find that other adapter to connect to my macbook so that i can record again possibly then test to see if this mic works on there again that's what i really want to see (sighs) because i I do want to stream again like i don't i don't not stream anymore because i don't want to stream i don't stream anymore because it's like i don't have the ability to (laughs) it's literally why because the other problem with this computer with obs streamlabs is that it doesn't it doesn't record the screen like for whatever reason it just can't do that so 
Problems all around. Problems all abound. In fact, maybe there's a wireless. Maybe there's a wireless Yeti mic I could get. Is there? Because then, it, like, I wouldn't have the problem of like, oh, not enough power is getting to the mic. I wouldn't have that problem anymore if it was wireless. This is probably going to be like the worst. The quote-unquote objectively worst installments of this show. Just because I'm fucking... Because <laughs> it's very like, I don't have a big pre-decided purpose for the episode. It's literally just like a... Talk about shit that's happening and like meme and like... Reminisce about past debates and things like that. That's all we're doing this week, folks.